The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Welcome to the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, being greeted with 15 inches of the white stuff today, so it's a wonderful day all around. I posted the chart for the German DAX. You can still see it's in an uptrend. It broke that 135 pattern and has made a small ABCD, as you can see. And then I posted the chart of the FTSE, which is the most interesting one because we highlighted that retracement yesterday and the fact that it was much weaker than the German market. And that's why you want to keep a close eye on some of these things. Now, we have a guest today, Adrian Togare, Trading on Target, will be our guest at 9.30. And tomorrow we have Stan Harley. And Stan has written a paper on uh, cycles. Um, it's a, a brief summary of what he does. And I think he's going to be able to get that out to you, hopefully. We'll see what's going to happen. But he's going to represent that to us tomorrow. And I think you'll enjoy it. You know, his timing has been... Uh, pretty impeccable and you know he turned bullish you know i think he was very bearish up until i think it was a must have been um i think it must have been october is when he uh when he turned very very bullish might have been september yeah it might have been september we'll have to ask him okay now i've had a question about jim twentyman and his twentyman line uh the gentleman uh, was kind enough to send me his uh uh, idea of what the 20 minute line is and I'll put this up here folks this is not in any book or anything so all you have to do is uh, just follow me through here and I'll try to show you what it is you see all these little lines how they crisscross well <clears throat> the the one that the, there's one here that is absolutely a perfect 20 minute line and I want to show it to you what I did was I went in and I, I copied it and then I put it in a really dark color so you'd be able to see it now here here is the 20 minute line as it should be done. You'll see the green line there, how it touches one, two, three lines, the low, the secondary high, secondary higher bottom, and then the retracement low, which just happens to be a Gartley. That acts, uh, Jim said that acts as a fulcrum. Now, all the other lines that are on there don't work because they have to hit, they have to be exact. That, that, and believe me, if anybody's exact, uh, it's Twentyman. His favorite quote is, defy human nature, do the work yourself. And uh, that's one of the reasons why he doesn't, uh, you know, well, never mind. Anyway, this is why it, it acts as a fulcrum. I, it's not listed anywhere. There's no papers about it. Uh, I don't see it very often, but when I do, I try to bring it up to your attention. It usually comes into context with a Fibonacci number or a pattern of some kind that we can uh, take a look at. Now, we've got another market that we really need to pay attention to this morning, folks. We were watching this. Uh, this is a 60-minute chart. We were watching this last night, and we'll get get up here to take a look at it. This happens to be the old yellow metal, the gold. Uh, we are getting close to the old 1700 level, folks, breaking down below 1800. You'll notice here that we're trading around 1808 right now this morning. Last night, uh, well, it must have been in the middle of the night sometime, uh, we hit a 382 retracement up there at 1828 and immediately dropped twenty dollars and now it looks like it's heading down towards 1800 and i you know that's going to be the old low if you look on the far left over there that's the old low in january but the longer term you know we're watching for possibility of 1710 now it's you know it's <laughs> you remember the movie uh, <laughs> uh wall street when the guy buys the painting for what 35 grand and now it's worth 380,000 he says well i perceived that it was real or that it was worth 380,000 and when it became uh, what was it? he said? He, I better want to mess that up. Anyway, he said he was thinking about it and he said that it was going to be uh, perceived as being worth uh, 30000 But when it's worth 380000 the perception becomes real. And that's how much I know about artwork, folks. And believe me, it ends there and will not get any better. 
All right, let's move on here for just a second here. I've got a couple other things that really need to be uh, addressed. And one of them here is this uh, euro trade is really starting to really starting to work like we had hoped it does. The dollar is uh, strengthening against the euro. You'll notice here that we had the 382 rally up there at the 122 level. We're now uh, two full handles. We've broken below the 120 substantially. Looks like we're heading to uh, 118.80. Uh, that is the 118.80 is a 61% retracement in here, so we need to pay very, very close attention to that. But we're holding on for that particular uh, pattern to give us a uh, a really good uh, profit in it. We've you know already locked in quite a bit, but we want to be able to get as much out of it as we can because we don't know which ones are going to work and which ones aren't. Fortunately, the ones we've been doing lately have been doing pretty good. Now, we'll take a look here at the next one uh, is the corn. We were in the, This is the last of the grains. We got out of our beans at 1392. That was a very nice move. And now we're looking here at corn. Uh, we've raised our stop to 535. We're trading at 554 this morning, another 20 cents higher. And there's a possibility, folks, we could get all the way up here uh, in the next few days up to the 576 level. But we definitely want to raise our stops in the corn and uh, that's what we'll we'll be doing here. So anyway, that's uh, that, that's what we're looking at in the corn market, and we'll see how the rest of this stuff fulfills here as we go through the rest of the day. Now, uh, someone asked a question about congestion, and I wanted to bring this up to you just to give you an idea. This is the one in the coffee market because I know the boys here in the room here have been very bullish coffee from about the 104 level. We're now to 124. But you'll notice the red box that I have marked here, that about two-week trading range there where the market is in a very, very tight range with a very defined bottom at the uh, 123 level. Folks, that, that's a very, very important level, and I'll give show you an example of this, but the reason for that is that is usually suppliers are coming in and just taking all that they can at that particular level because they think that that is a very good price on their the way they understand supply and demand. That's all that means. Now, if you, if you start to look for those, you're going to see them. Now, if you're just give me the last one here. I'll get the second one here. Here we go. Here's 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 where we were last year. We were talking about this same thing when we were back in June of last year. Look how we, we stayed. We had the 135 pattern that broke, came down to make the low, and look, we stayed there for a solid month, folks. That's a lot of that's a lot of business going on at that level between ninety-six and a dollar. And here we are now, twenty-five percent higher at one twenty-four. So when you see those, that's what that usually means. It's a, it's a way of looking at supply and demand. And uh, that's why a technician is what you're looking at is uh, you're looking at the prices and you're trying to figure out which ones are going to work and which ones aren't. That's the bottom line. So I hope the uh, hope that works out. When we get back, I want to talk a little bit about the silver market and um, also just mention more about the Robin Hood folks that uh, people are that's in the news still, but not as much as before. Once they turn the, the uh, knobs off on silver, it calm, calm the uh, broadcasting people down a little bit. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, with the rest of the things. We'll be right back after we take this break. I want to uh, talk about the uh, the silver market here a little bit because we are at flat out uh, major support here this morning. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the chart here of the uh, the gold. It's made the uh, price objective there at uh, 1797 and where it goes from here, I don't know. Remember, on the longer-term chart here, we'll get this up because this is what we're looking at on a longer term. And I believe we're, we've got a probably 50-50 chance of making it because nobody's bullish the gold. And you'll see here that uh, that would take us into around $17, $1,700 an ounce. And, folks, that is the big daddy rabbit. I mean, you remember back in December – of uh, 2016, we were extremely bullish to gold at that 1,030 level. That was a, uh, a 382 off of the low, or from the high to the low, That from the, after the high was made at 1932 in, in, in uh, August of um, 2011. And that was a very, very important spot. This time, we've been in a very, very pronounced bear market since August of this year, last year, and we have a lot of support in there at 1710, trading at 1796. So that's a pretty much, this should, this level here at 1796 should hold just by looking at the shorter term pattern here, but we've just broken the major 61% retracement in the silver that was very important at the uh, 2644 level. Now, the, someone's asked to talk about uh, backwardation in silver and stuff. You know, this is really simple, folks. When you when you look at this thing, uh, let's just show you. This comes from one of our friends that happens to be a, a coin dealer. I want to bring this up to show you because it's really interesting here. This shows you the demand for the American Eagles. Now, those of you that have been with Tiger TV since uh, I've been with them, which is uh, 2007, 
Uh, I have been saying anytime you can buy American, uh, you know, those gold, those silver eagles, the most beautiful coins for 14 bucks uh, to buy them. And you were able to do it several times this year. And now they've doubled it. Well, they've weighed more than double because they've, the, the volume of the stuff is going out. You can see the sale of bull, uh, gold bullion has risen 258 percent, whereas the uh, the demand for the silver was only up 28 percent. Well, let me ask a question now. If the the demand for gold bullion has, has been 258 percent and things been going down $300 from the high, almost $400 from the high, it is $400 from the high. It's $400 from the high. So I mean that those those guys are you know they're sitting there holding their little tin cups out. Now you can see the sales of the American gold, gold eagle coins. Those are the uh, double eagles that they sell, U.S. Uh, minted coins. And if you don't buy the little bars, folks, because if you want to resell them, those are harder because they're counterfeited a lot. It's really difficult to counterfeit the American eagle coins and stuff because they're done on the John Day machine, which is the coin stamping machine that has been in existence forever. And uh, the Frenchman that designed it, it allows them to stamp them out, and it's just really an incredible thing to see. But those little coins, uh, with the American Eagle coins, those are like little bullion things, but because they're made by the U.S. Mint, you know, people knows what they are. And if you've ever seen one of my lectures, I can show you how to test the, the, whether the coin is actually silver or gold. It has a special ring to it. You have to put the coin on your on your little knuckle, and then you leave it leave it there, and you tap it with another coin, and the, the ring of silver is different than the ring of gold. But that's still how they do it in uh, in 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 the Arab markets in um, in Morocco and places like that. They're still doing it that way. So that's basically what it is. Backwardation just means that they they need the silver spot up front is what that means. And the front ends are more expensive than the back end. I never follow that stuff because, you know, folks, I keep it as simple as possible. I, I look at the darn things, and if I can find one that looks give me a, a halfway decent pattern, then, you know, that's what I'm going to be looking at. So here is one. Uh, we have that one working really well in the euro. We have the one really well working in the pound. And here's one that is not working. This is the the Japanese, excuse me, the Japanese yen dollar trade. Uh, we this we did this at 105.05. We took a uh, $250 loss on that. And uh, it's even though it's up 10 days in a row, it could go up a lot higher. And so we're just waiting to see what happens. But the euro is, you know, that's ahead well over. Uh, $2,300, and we think that it's going to go down a little bit more. And the British pound is really setting up really nicely, folks. This is one that uh, I, I have to do the longer-term work on it. But if you take a look at the British pound here on the longer-term daily going back to July or August, you'll be able to see here that we have an incredible three drive to a top pattern forming in here uh, coming in at 38.50. That's up another 150 points. And if we get there, folks, get your old uh, basket out, because when you look at this on the long term, which I will do over the weekend, uh, you're going to see that this is going to be a really, really important spot because it's at a major ratio coming off of June 27th of, uh, what, 2018, uh, no, 2016 when we had the Brexit. And those of you that were with me at the time, we were selling at that at that 149.90. The high was 150.05, and it dropped 19 handles in the first day. And uh, unfortunately, we took it off at 19 handles, which was a lot of money, and it went down a little bit more. But uh, that was one of our better moves. But this is one that we'll be completing uh, that'll be very, very interesting. But that'll be coming out into the... Uh, in the near future here as we move through some of these things here. Okay, now uh, there's another one that uh, is interesting here. Uh, this is the euro pound. Here is another one. Now, what's happening now, the pound is is much stronger today than the euro. That's why this pattern here, we didn't, I don't do this cross rate, but someone asked me to, you know, to uh, take a look at it. It's setting right at the 61% retracement right here as we came in today at uh, 87.70. I haven't heard the beeper go off anymore, so it must have held that level. But that's one that looks uh, relatively interesting uh, also. So whether these work or not, we don't know. But, you know, the probability sec suggests that if you do those ABCD patterns, the odds are 65 percent that you're going to get it right. And, uh, you know, the other time you're either going to break even or, or take a small loss. When we did the floor traders handbook last year, 
folks, let me tell you something. We did 10,000 trades to prove that that darn system works. But there was a, there was a time in that 10, the group of 10,000 where there were 18 of them that lost in a row. We also had some that were 18 in a row that worked. But that, that doesn't mean you can't have a bad streak like that because you can. Anytime you're looking at 10,000 sample size, that's going to do it. But you can reduce that risk by looking at how it comes out of point C. If the market comes out of point C, out of an A-B move, and it's going really strong, you can, you know, Put your little uh, cash register on it, and you'll be able to see that you'll be watching something that will probably go way beyond 1.27, possibly 1.618, and even farther. So you've got to be really careful with the probability, but that's it. I wanted to, before Adrian get, comes on at the break here, I wanted to talk a little bit here about the, uh, get this up here. You'll be able to see here. There we go. There is the Bitcoin. Uh, we got down to the uh, uh, almost to the 382. We missed it by about uh, 200 points, and it looks like it's getting ready to go up. Uh, we're at 30, uh, wow, 38,000 this morning, and the old high was 42,000, and uh, that means we're going to see 55,000 this year sometime, it looks like. Stay tuned for Adrian Chuggery trading on target. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing up positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> oh, 
Ross, are you there, Adrian? <laughs> yes, I am, Larry. How are you doing? Well, everything's good. We're glad to have you here, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, we've had a rough year and a half, 13 months, believe it or not. I haven't been on an airplane, AT, and this is someone that flies a lot, so it's been very, very boring. But I'm sure it's the same for you there in the beautiful yeah. mountains of North Carolina. So anyway, what do you have for the folks today? Oh, I have a question for one of our listeners. Good. And it, 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 the question is, what if you had to pick one thing, you know, you, like Curly from City Slickers would say, if you had to pick one thing that uh, that the trader does all invariably, new traders do badly. What would that be? Would you, would you know what that would be? Well, that leads me right into what I wanted to talk about today. <laughs> so uh, that's the the perfect intro. What I um, what I want to talk about today is, wait a second, <clears throat> excuse me, going back to basics. Uh, the problem with the new trader is that he wants to jump all the way to making really big profits and being a great trader and uh, making it work, but he doesn't do the basics. And the basics are necessary for a foundation. You need to understand the markets. You need to understand your strategy, your, your um, technique. Uh, if you don't have those basics, you're always going to fall short of where you could possibly be in the markets. When I was a dancer many years ago, uh, every time there was we, we had a mistake or we did something wrong, the choreographer, the teacher would always bring us back to our core, the core of our, our, our body to, to sustain us in all of those big leaps and turns. And when, it was an opera, when I was an opera singer, we'd go back to the vocal exercises to stretch our, our muscles our, uh, in, in our larynx in order to produce the tone and notes. In sports, you're, you need to go through repetition of doing the same thing over and over and over and over again until uh, your body will feel uncomfortable if you're not doing the right thing. Uh, now I'm a screenplay writer, and uh, my teachers always bring me back to the basics of writing, the basics of uh, the technique of drama. Wow, that makes good sense. I have a question for you. I have a question for you about okay. dancing. How do you, how are you able to hold on to those chrome poles when you're dancing? Is there any trick to that? It's a joke, Adrian. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> well, well, first of all, you have to have small, strong wrists. <laughs> And second of all, you have to have some. You, you have to use some powder so you could uh, get around the pole. <laughs> Do you want me to continue? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm in bad enough trouble now. They're about ready to ban me at TFNN already, so I better stop. We've been friends for 35 years, so I guess we can do that once in a while, can't we? Mm -hmm. So go ahead. I'm sorry for interrupting. Please go on. You've got some wonderful things you'd like to share with us, and we'd like to hear them. Okay. Uh, I want to bring forth one of my clients. Uh, he uh, did all the things you're supposed to, supposed to do, all the, ba the, the basics, got a good system, studied many systems, actually. And he had a fairly decent income coming in, decent meaning two, $3,000 a month. That was pretty steady. And he, he realized that, uh, you know, he wasn't where he wanted to be. So we started working together, and it took about two years, but now he's uh, pulling in twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a week. So what did I do with him that made the difference? The designer of a system or strategy or methodology has a tremendous advantage of seeing what goes wrong and what goes right and knowing how to adapt over a period of time. Uh, they don't even often teach that part of uh, the strategy because they don't think it's necessary because they've already been through it, so they only teach what they think works for them. But then they give that strategy, that technique, to someone else. 
But that the um, novice, that person that's taking on that strategy, doesn't have those fundamentals that that other person had. So very often, uh, they are not making the kind of money that the per- person, you know, assuming that person was making money with the strategy. So what is the difference? What do they have to do? I always bring them back to the basics, and that is they have to relearn how uh, the system works, relearn how that all was put together. And the first thing I say is, are you, are you earning the kind of profits that you believe that your mentor, your teacher uh, is making? Because very often the mentor, teacher... <clears throat> doesn't show what the profits are. Very often they, they're not making profits. But let's just say the the mentor teacher shows what they're making and the, the student can see actually the results. And they find that they're not doing as much or they're doing the same, but they want more. So how do they get that more? One of the things that I always say is go back and and look at timing. See the time of year that the system works the best. I'm going to use system because if I go systems, strategy, methodology, we'll, we'll be here all day. Uh, then look at, so you're looking at the time of year. Then you look at the time of week. Then you look at the time of day. And then you look at um, where the the um, strategy is working on profits. Why are you profiting uh, at certain times? What makes the difference in a profit? What makes the difference in a loss? With that, all that information, then you could plug it into your new and improved system, strategy. Uh, A long time ago, I I talked with uh, Jake Bernstein, and one of the things that I said to him was that all the people that I worked with that worked with him always said that they improved they, when they improved their his strategy, it really worked for them. And he said to me, he said, that's the ticket. That's, he says, I, I never believe that a person should just stick to one thing and say it's always going to work for them. They have to, you always have to make it your own. Even though you can get really, really good advice from people like you, Larry, uh, you still have to make it your own. You know, people that are looking at the moon and the stars, they yeah. read it differently than other people. <laughs> That's for sure. Hey, well, speaking of moon and stars, we're going to have our star back right after we get this uh, money uh, commercial page for TFNN. We'll be right back with Adrian Tokare, Trading on Target. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200 percent in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large-cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, 
or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Adrian Togare, trading on target. Would you like to continue, young lady? I would. Uh, we were talking about going back to basics, and we are talking about um, looking at uh, timing with regard to your strategy. Now I'd like to switch it over to looking at timing with re regards to psychology. Uh, let's just say that uh, all your ducks in a row are, are there for your strategy, but it still isn't working, not because you don't have the information that you need to make your strategy work, but it's because you don't have the psychology to be able to follow that strategy. Well, then you, ne you need to start looking at where your psychology is um, is going astray because uh, of uh, something that's going on in your life it could it could be that there is you know there there's a divorce happening there is a death happening there's um, you know some major uh, event like that, or it could be because of something in your past that doesn't allow you to uh, accept losses, accept fear, accept uh, being wrong, and any of that, any of that type of psychological um, pressure that will keep you from making the kind of money that you deserve to make from your strategy, uh, you need to address, because if you don't address it, what's going to happen is it will continuously be there. Well, again, like in timing of year, month, day, uh, day, looking at the strategy, you need to look at where you're going wrong psychologically. Uh, there was a fellow at the um, New York Board of Trade that I worked with, and I found out that he was every year he would lose money at a certain time, and that was in uh, August, September. And when I found out that he was taking his wife's vacation rather than his vacation, because his vacation was to be in the forest and the lakes and, you know, fishing and that, and her vacation was to go to Europe and go to shows and that sort of thing. I said, well, you have to take your own vacation. You have to, of course, take your wife's vacation, too, or else you'll wind up with another problem. But that was on a yearly basis that we found out that he had a problem. Uh, there are other people who feel, you know, they have a work ethic that they have to work eight hours a day because that's the way they were always taught. And most of my traders, they work two hours a day on trading. That's it. These, these are professional traders. 
So perhaps you're working too many hours in the day because you feel like you have to push it, or maybe too many hours in the week, or maybe you don't give yourself a day off, and you really need a, a time that you're doing absolutely no trading, not thinking about trading or what have you, whether it's on just on a Sunday or Saturday and Sunday, but you need that time off. Then it could be because of some issue that you've had in the past that uh, leads you to not being able to follow your rules. So you have to handle that uh, issue. Uh, Adrian, we've got a caller from Cleveland, Ohio. Tim, are you on the line? Uh, yes, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I, uh, my Go question ahead. is, I, I, I'm recalling uh, the last time I think you were on, you recommended this one book by, a, I think it was a Russian author, something like Stanislavski or something along those lines, and unfortunately I misplaced that information. I was wondering if you might be able to uh, refresh my memory on that. It's uh, Stanislavski Method Training for Actors. And and the only reason I guess I met, uh I recommended it at the time is that when you understand how the human being a human being works and you have to understand how a human being works in order to understand how you work I found it to be the most valuable place of understanding um, how to work with traders by understanding how actors develop characters uh, you know, uh, you might not find it the, the find the same stimulation that I did for understanding that, but I studied Stanislavski method training for actors for seven years and ran a school for three years, so I, I really got into it. And uh, that's that's getting into the real nitty gritty of understanding how uh, a human being works. So, uh, you know, I would recommend it for people who want to get into the nitty-gritty of, uh, of uh, how uh, we function as human beings, but not it's certainly not for everybody. I understand. And actually, the thing I'm amazed of is I actually remember the name correctly. So <laughs> thank you so very much. <laughs> I really appreciate that. And uh, as I recall, you, you, the, your emphasis was that you tried to really understand your own psyche which inevitably results in uh, hopefully controlling your trading process, I think is what you had uh, indicated. Right, and, and I believe he has several books out, and you probably get it, can get it uh, from Amazon very easily. Great. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Wonderful being an actor, huh? <laughs> One of the things I'd like to do is I'd like to uh, play, give an offer to the, your uh, your radio listeners. Uh, my my uh, trading on target course has been available for many years at a very high price, and uh, now that I'm half getting out of the business, I'm offering it at its extremely good price online. But to your radio listeners. Only for today, only for today, I'm going to give a 25% discount to anyone who purchases my Trading on Target course. <clears throat> Write to me at uh, adtograi at, uh, at gmail.com or Trading on Target, uh, adrian at tradingontarget.com, or just look me up on, on the web, website, Trading on Target. And... You will see the course. You can't order it online and get the 25% discount. You have to write to me uh, to mm -hmm. be able to do it. And all you have to say is, um, I'm from Larry's show, and you'll get the discount. Well, that's fair enough. But, folks, you ought to pay attention to the young lady because she's got some wonderful materials. Uh, A.T., do you still offer the... Uh a program where you do the uh, go through the what do they call it uh, you know, the recipe of the things that you really need to consider you know what, what do they call that uh, I can't remember the name of the darn thing <laughs> what, what do you do a, what, what is it what is it you call where you do a, um, a evaluation um, evaluation that's what I'm trying to think of yes that's what I'm trying to think that the evaluation is actually part of the course uh, there's no wrong or right answers. There, uh, there's, I believe, 17 pages of questions, uh, multiple choice questions, and by that I can tell you exactly where your problems are and what you have to do to overcome them. 
sometimes I'll, I'll suggest a book. Sometimes there, you know, I, I will even suggest, hey, trading is not for you. Uh, and sometimes I'll, I'll say, hey, you know, uh, I have some other stuff that you can uh, work with that could improve uh, your ability as a trader and as a human being. Okay, we've got to take a break here, and we'll be right back with A.T. Okay, can you stay with us? I will be there. Thank you. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as... Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're talking with Adrian Togre, trading on Target. AT, would you do us a favor here at TFNN and repeat the uh, email address that the folks could get in contact with you? It's uh, Adrian at, and it, it, Adrian is spelled with uh, A D R I E N N E, at tradingontarget.com. Or you could look me up and just look at tradingontarget.com. Uh, and um, you'll find me, I'm sorry, tr Adrian at tr uh, tradingontarget.com. But it's best to look at look on the website for me, tradingontarget.com. Okay. Then you'll get all the information, and I won't have to explain to you what's in the in the <laughs> trading on target course because it'll be right there. 
Good, good, good. Well, that uh, two people asked that, so I wanted to make sure we got through with it. Anyway, I want you to be safe. Are you uh, practicing safe distancing? I'm. I'm. And only it, I, yesterday I got my uh, vaccine, so I'm very, very excited. And I'm yes, I'm still doing uh, distancing. I'm still doing masking, and I look forward to the next shot in uh, March. How did you get in by lying about your age? I didn't think you would do that. <laughs> hey, listen, sweetie. You're thanks cute. for being on. Well, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll ha we'll have you on again uh, soon. So just be safe, and uh, we'll continue to have you on the show because you really give us some really good ideas. Now, I've got some other questions for, for for you when you come on the next time, but I didn't have time to cover them today. So we'll do that the next time we have you on the show. Take care, Larry. Love you lots. Okay. You I bet. Like you bet. Adrian Tilgray, Trading on Target, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And we'll see you tomorrow with Stan Harley, and he will have a paper on cycles I think you're going to like. And I hope I don't run into any dead space today, but it looks like I have a little bit. I, okay, that's it. Anyway, that's all I have. So uh, we'll see you folks tomorrow for sure with uh, Stan Harley.